Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now as we come close to the end of the year and the rain has decided to return to Los Angeles for a week, I thought now would be as good a time as ever to do my top five maker tools for 2023. Now these tools are what most impacted my workflow this year and I figured I would share them with you. So let's get to it. Kicking off my list are calipers. And I'm not talking about the digital kind. I'm talking about these cheap plastic ones. Calipers are a must-have for 3D modeling, and I use them way more than expected. They provide greater accuracy than a ruler, although I've never found a need for the precision of the digital kind, which is why I use the simple plastic version. As a plus, they can take measurements in three different ways, so when it comes to building something where I want a good fit, calipers are always the first tool I reach for. The next item on my list is something I was relatively unfamiliar with at the beginning of the year, but having used them in a few projects over the past few months, I can definitely see their place in my workflow moving forward, and that's NeoPixels. As someone who's used individual LEDs in props for a while, the idea of smart LEDs was fascinating. NeoPixel rings and strips can be used in a variety of projects to provide more interesting lighting effects to your props that you just can't do with individual LEDs. And as an added bonus, they're not terribly expensive. Plus, there's a ton of information about them online, as well as some web-based tools to help get you started with basic animations. The next thing on my list is a detail or palm sander like this one. As someone who's used a variety of sanding devices over the years, this one has been the biggest improvement for me. Its weight, internal dust collection, and rapid charging speed makes it a must-have for a lot of the projects I've worked on this year and is a welcome addition to my shop. At number two, I have an unexpected addition to my workflow, and that's a detail spray gun. I've used different spray guns in the past, and this is very similar, but it's become much more important as regulations in California have changed and spray paints are becoming harder to find. Now I have a reliable spray gun that's inexpensive, easy to control, and simple to clean that you're sure to see a lot more of in future videos. The final entry to this list should come as no surprise as my love of 3D modeling and 3D printing is well documented on this channel. So the number one spot this year goes to my Bamboo Lab X1C 3D printer. Of the six FDM 3D printers I've owned, this is the first one that seems like it's 100% consumer ready. It comes fully assembled and has a very low barrier to get started by handling all of the things that were challenging about older 3D printers. And most importantly, it's really fast so I'm able to rapid prototype at a much quicker and much more accurate rate than ever before. The AMS filament unit on top is an added bonus, since it keeps my filament dry and can prevent runout by switching to a new spool as needed to continue the print. So there you have it, my top five list of tools that helped to improve my workflow for 2023. I'm curious to know what made your list. Leave a comment down below and tell me what tools you use to help improve your workflow in 2023. That's going to do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. But most importantly, go make something. Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Since it's... Uh, well, we're getting close to the end of the year. Well... Now these are the tools that I found most helpful for my workflow. They may not apply to you, but... Oh. Coming in at number five are calipers. Oh. Now this is an absolute must if you're doing any level of 3D modeling because it gives you a... Oh. I can definitely see how they'll be... Uh, blah, 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 how they'll be... I'm curious to know what some of yours might be, so leave them down in the comments. And if there's something that you're looking forward to in 2020.